Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be talking about creating a safe workspace while you use your computer. So often when I talk about computers I talk about uh, keeping your computer safe and free of viruses. Well today we're talking about our own health and safety at, while using a computer. So a lot of people don't think about it because using a computer is not too strenuous on the body but you do use repetitive motions quite often on, on a computer especially when you type or use the mouse. When you're using these types of motions over and over and over, it could actually have a negative impact on your body. It could affect your wrists, your neck, your back, and even cause eye strain while you use a computer. So we're going to talk about computer ergonomics, and that's the science of equipment design and how specific equipment usage and placement can reduce this discomfort and increase productivity. And a couple of these items may be ergonomic keyboards or ergonomic chairs. And so I'm going to go over some different tips that you can use to make your workstation more ergonomically friendly which in turn will make you more healthy so let's go ahead and start with these tips so the first thing that you can do is adjust your chair you want to sit in a natural comfortable position now I've worked in an office before and take a look in your office and take a look at the chairs you should notice that most chairs in most offices are very ergonomically friendly sometimes these chairs can get very expensive very fast but again they are for the health of the employee or whoever is sitting in that chair you'll notice that there is often great lower back support in these chairs and they improve your posture so the Typically, the more ergonomically friendly the chair is, the better it supports your lower back and the better posture that you have while sitting in it. That's why some chairs are very expensive, while other non-ergonomically friendly chairs are very cheap. So think about that before you purchase an office chair. Next thing that you need to do to create a safe workstation here is you're going to want to keep your keyboard at a comfortable height. You want to make sure that your wrists are straight and they're relaxed. So you can see from our image there, uh, the wrists are straight and the fingers point down as the person begins to type. Next up, uh, keep the keyboard and mouse, or sorry, keep the mouse close to the keyboard. Uh, you typically want to place it right next to the keyboard, whether it's on the left or the right side. If it gets too far away, it's going to be uncomfortable and it's going to cause you to reach and you're going to have to move around a lot more in strange or awkward ways, which is not good for your body. Next, place the monitor about uh, 20 to 40 inches away. Now that's a comfortable distance away and that will make your uh, uh, eyes adjust and you won't need to strain as much. Now your eye level with your monitor should be exactly level or slightly lower. So you'll notice that when you look at your computer you shouldn't be pointing straight down and you shouldn't be looking up towards the sky in order to see the monitor. Next up, uh, you're going to want to av avoid clutter on your desk. Okay, As soon as you start really getting a busy, cluttered desk, you're going to notice that's going to become more difficult for you to find what you need on the desk. Now, if you have a clutter-free desk, it should improve your productivity because you'll be spending less time actually finding what you need to on your desk. And then you'll notice that it also prevents strain and injury. Again, if you're not reaching over things on your desk, you're going to have a, a, an easier time getting to them, which means you're not going to strain yourself while you do that. And then next thing is to take frequent breaks. You're going to want to look away from your monitor every once while you don't want to constantly be looking at it you're going to want to stand up to walk around uh, you know make sure that you take that time to get away from your computer so that you can actually uh, you know get a little bit of exercise in and get moving a little bit I've worked in an office before for a very long time and if you just go in there and you start working and then you don't get up for multiple hours on end that's when uh, you're gonna start seeing the negative effects that I talked about earlier so make sure you look up you look around walk away every now and then and that'll also help so i hope this video has been helpful for you if it has please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions please put it in the comment section and i'll try to help you out thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day